Fufu is a traditional Nigerian dish popularly known as Akpo in the eastern part of the country. Primarily made from cassava, this starchy staple food is usually served as an accompaniment to stews, soups or sauces. Recently, Fufu gained traction on the global scene ranking 13th on the Chef Pencil Staff Most Popular Cuisine on Instagram in 2021 with over 300 tags on the social media platform. The reason why I choose fufu over other um, swallow in, in, in Nigeria, like Africa entirely, is because, um, because the country is hard. Whenever I take my fufu, hey! <laughs> Whenever I take my fufu, it goes down a long way with me, always, compared to other food. So if I take my fufu probably in the morning, like I'm sitting down and taking my fufu now, I will not bother to eat anything till down in the evening before I take my dinner. But it is not the popularity or the taste of this meal that is drawing attention now. A social media user of the X platform made a post about how his friend was allegedly hospitalized after consuming fufu in a local restaurant. In the tweets, the X user with the name at Ekiti Baby Gov said and quote, a friend of mine ate fufu that was mixed with hypo from a buka in Lagos. Now he is booked for surgery and tissue expansion at Lasuth. I saw what that meal did to him, his skin and intestines. People should be careful out there. End of quote. These tweets generated over a million views in two days, with many expressing their shock. New Central TV decided to investigate the story. We visited a local processing center in Ogun State close to a canal under the bridge of a popular road that connects to Lagos State. Here, the cassava roots are cut, peeled in bulk and then stored in drums filled with water and expected to ferment for a maximum of four days, depending on air temperature. Although the center looks quite busy with workers, mostly older women, it doesn't appear 100% hygienic for food production. We however asked if any substance was added to these cassava cottons stored in 200 liter drums to enable them ferment faster. The answer was no. We will buy the market from Yebu uh, there. Motor carry come here with the work, with the build the cassava, soup for the drum, put water. After three days, we crown and with the engine here. Then it's, uh, the food, the food there with the wash and dress the stone, sell them. Do you add any chemicals to these drums of cassava just to enable it ferment no. faster? No. However, Previous investigative reports claim that some local processing centers often add bleaching agents to the already soaked cassava to hasten the fermentation process. Harafat Busari is a nutritionist in one of the foremost lifestyle medicine digital brands in Nigeria. From her level of expertise, she tells us that chemicals like bleaching agents and detergents have no place for human consumption explaining the effect of these on nutrition. She says the harmful chlorine residuals found in bleach are toxic to the internal system of consumers. They, they pose so much effect on the health, you know, aside from um, gastrointestinal issues alone, it causes, it, it causes um, effects on the reproduction health, on neurogenetic health, and the long-term exposure when a consumer eats this contaminated fufu or any other food long term it puts them at risk for long term health disease as, as well like cancers um, like um, um, a dementia even things like that because it has damaged the liver the kidney and the nervous system what chlorine is majorly used for is for disinfecting and it is also present in water in um, tap water it is used as a form of um, um, disinfecting water to make it suitable for drinking but chlorine in gari is not something that should be there are other ways that um, gari or uh, fufu can be fermented without the use of chlorine to make it suitable for human consumption 
In Nigeria, the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control is the agency responsible for the regulation and control of the importation, exportation, manufacturing, advertisement, distribution, sale and use of food, drugs, cosmetics, medical devices, bottled water, chemicals and detergents. In the virtual interview, the Director of Chemical Evaluation and Research for the agency disputes the notion that bleaching compounds are used to ferment cassava, citing the chemical makeup of both the crop and the bleach. That detergent, if you add it to your fufu, maybe you grind your cassava, add it to your fufu, number one, the smell will remain. You know how detergents smell, all detergents, it will remain, that's number one. Number two, there is no basis for anybody to convince me that there can be a reaction between linear acyl benzene sulfonate and starch because the major ingredient or the major chemical that is inside fufu or cassava or yam is starch. Starch is an organic compound. This linear acyl benzene sulfonate, the linear acyl benzene part of it is also organic compound. Two organic reacting, the reaction will be terribly, terribly, terribly slow. It doesn't support you unless you put a catalyst there. In the course of working on this story, our efforts to get the ex user at Ekete Baby Gulf or his friend, whom was said to have been hospitalized after eating fufu, wasn't successful. Though there may not be much to worry about, relying on what the NAVDAC official and nutritionist said, Many keen lovers of fufu, since the viral tweet, have urged regulatory bodies like NAFDAQ to introduce strict rules that guide the production of local dishes. Adesha Waudu Shoga, reporting for News Central.